Online daters, what are some of the most unattractive stuff people put in their bios? If you don't speak, I'll unmatch, whilst they literally make zero effort to talk to anybody, edit, I am gay and was referring to male plus male Tinder, but it's news to me that this is a similar thing straight men experience too. This isn't the worst thing in the world, but something I'm always bewildered by some variation of, hi, I'm back again, hopefully this time it will work out, this isn't conventional social media with followers, or banned from Tinder so now I'm here. <laughs> Saw one of those in the wild recently. It only created two questions in my head. Why, how far do I need to run, edit, even if you are banned for a nothing reason? Putting it in your bio for other apps is bad for two reasons. This app is your secondary backup. Don't want to be here. The assumption is the ban was for a correct reason. This long laundry list of requirements in a partner with no mention of what they're going to be bringing to the relationship. This is one of the worst, it doesn't matter if I think I tick your boxes. Look for that when you swipe. Tell me about you so that I know if you tick my boxes. My personal favorite is when you come across multiple profiles with the same profile pic, but they are all in different locations. Fucking wizards. If you can't handle her while she's teleporting, you don't deserve her while she's not teleporting. Their only photo is a group photo, with no indication of which one they are. It's the least attractive one in the group, I guarantee it. What do you do for work? I don't like talking about work. Where did you grow up? Are you implying I'm not from here? What's your favorite food? French fries. Okay, I'm trying here and you're giving me nothing. Edit. Talking about it, just ask. Profiles here. If someone has more details, I will gladly ask them more in depth questions about them. An abundance of group photos. Showing you have friends is good, leaving people having to gamble on which person they're swiping on isn't. At best it's an unfortunate oversight, at worst hints towards insecurities. Don't be boring, just ask 100% guarantee that they themselves have zero chat. That has generally been my experience. I want to have good conversation, means I have no social skills of my own and expect you to carry the burden of the chatting. Just ask was always an instant no from me. Plenty of other people provide some kind of info to go on, so why would I choose the low effort profile? And you know they'll never message back, just ask, I'm an open book, messages, an open, shallow book, a pamphlet, really. But I really do like french fries, I asked a girl once if she wanted to go get some McDonald's nuggets. She got all, I do not support that kind of unhealthy food, in a condescending way. I was happy I at least got a reply since the vast majority just ignore, so I gave her credit for that. But on the other hand, your profile picture is you at McDonald's. At least throw me a bone. For actually paying attention to your profile, I replied to a girl once asking if the mountain she was on in her profile pic was a specific mountain that's a few states over. She acted all creeped out that I knew the mountain. Like I was stalking or something, bitch, I climbed that mountain too. I don't know how I'd guess it any other way. You try and find literal common ground sometimes. Oh well, dodged that one. I worked at a river rafting company for a few years. I saw a woman with a picture on my raft, I can see my shoes in the background. I asked her about her rafting trip and if she went often, her reply was along the lines of, uh, yeah I go all the time, that's where I work. So I asked her if she meant just on that river or that specific company, no I work for that one. Why are you so worried about where I work? You need me to support you, so I explained that. It was my raft she was in and that I hadn't remembered her on my raft or otherwise working there. I was then called creepy and never heard from her again. Follow me on Instagram and message me there because I'm hardly on here. That screams I want more followers and don't take dating seriously. If you were more serious, you'd be more active online and my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north, general of the Felix legions and loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son. Husband to a murdered wife. And I will have my vengeance, in this life or the next I in general, people put negatives about things they are bad at. So don't be boring equals I'm bad at conversation, I'll need you to carry it. Nothing puts me off somebody quicker than being the one who asks all the questions. If I ask something, give me an answer, and maybe follow up with a return question. 
if not, at least have an answer that leaves room for more questions. I remember talking to a girl for a few weeks who gave nothing but one-word answers and I eventually took the hint and just fizzled it out, after which she asked if I liked her because she really likes me and wondered why I'd gone so quiet. Like how the F-U-C-K did you feel any kind of connection from that? I thought you were giving me the cold shoulder on purpose, edit, people asking why it even lasted that long. We kind of knew each other from school but not in a romantic way so I think that prior connection carried it a bit. But trying to actually get to know her was like getting blood from a stone. It wasn't on a dating app, we were texting because we'd crossed paths on a night out. A variation on this is something like, don't be boring slash have good chat. Now, I get that sentiment, and it's good advice. But isn't being boring extremely relative? A good chat to me might involve all sorts of things. In fact, we could be talking about knitting for all I know, and in some versions I could be entirely bored by the conversation and other times I would be super interested, so my point is, being boring is very personal. Almost by definition, being boring or not is the whole point of matching and chatting to someone. You're literally figuring out if you enjoy talking about the same things. Message me on, insert other social media here. I don't use this app, listening off the most basic stuff, i.e, I like tacos, margs, an adventure, dot, having all group photos, giving, requirements. Stuff like height, weight, and number of tattoos.